they're literally everywhere. Like everywhere. So they come out of the ground and they're literally in this little larva stage and they molt out of that skin. So basically, so this is one about mid midway, right? So that's in the process. They come out like that, a very light skin and then they eventually change to that. And then that is what you hear up in the trees that are making that noise, which here you hear it very like, almost like a cricket, but in the background you hear that humming. That's like all the cicadas. Like all the cicadas in the area are making that noise. And it's only gonna get louder and more annoying. But they are everywhere. We can't let the dogs out. Like the ground is just littered in these skins and we can't let them out. It doesn't matter if I mow, if I blow, if I, whatever I do to clean it up. You can't let them out. I mean, it's not harmful for them to eat them, but obviously consuming dozens and dozens of it says cicadas. It could make their bellies upset. Well, it'll jam up their intestinal, like stomachs and stuff. And those two just want to... So unfortunately, we can't let them out. They got to stay locked on the porch. Because every time I go to clean it up and clean the fence line... It's just littered with cicadas. No, they're everywhere. Look at you little bastards. You little boogers. Get, get out of here. They're, it doesn't matter. They're every, they're all out here. Look at the pile under this tree. But there'll be people just right here in Friendsville. Nothing. This is insane. They're everywhere. But see, these are all the holes they come out of. So they're really good because they aerate your lawn, obviously, because they leave the holes, you know, and it's great. It's kind of like a, it's kind of nice. You went through with an aerator, you know, to open it up. But my goodness, this is just disgusting and annoying. I mean, it's great for you girls, huh? Chicks absolutely love it. They sit here and feast all day long on these things. But we don't have enough chickens to eat all this stuff. That's the problem. Look at this, finally getting peaches. Oh, so excited. Now if I just keep the birds away from the peaches, we'd be good. Look at the plums too, plums are coming. We got freaking cicadas on the plum tree. Hopefully those stay. All right, so besides cicadas, that seems to be the big issue right now. Uh, big day today. We're getting the inspection for power. 
for the shed finally it has been a long time coming but i mean there's just things after things after things after things that add up and um you know you have to put off the the um not so priority stuff um and this happens to be one of them but we're gonna have maybe we'll have power hopefully we get a final That's inspection we're gonna get Fort Loudon out here. If, as long as this passes, you get Fort Loudon out here. They'll bring power overhead from there to here. We'll have power, we'll have air. The podcast will be ready to go again. Um, it's exciting, it's a big thing, but it's always like stressful, you know, getting a final inspection on uh, electrical. But thankfully, uh, when I was building some pools, I have a little bit of a relationship with this, this inspector down here. Uh, so that always helps to have a relationship with them. Um, kind of, you know, it just helps the process, put it that way. So we'll see. Uh, he's uh, on his way right now. Hopefully we'll get this pass across our fingers. And then uh, we'll call Fort Loudon. We'll set that up. We'll get power here. And then uh, I'm excited. This is a big thing. It's a big thing for me. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We getting power. We are getting power. Oh, it's been a minute. All right, so I've been working in the shed. Uh, now that we're past electric, I'm excited. Got a lot of stuff to do, but um, I was just bringing the dogs in, and this is so. These cicadas are just insane right now. So they're just coming out of the woodwork. Let's see. They're literally crawling out of the ground. They're crawling out of the ground everywhere. Look at them just coming out of the woodwork. I don't know what the sound is out here. telling you this is I've seen cicadas and this is nuts it's just down downright disgusting like there is just cicadas everywhere can't let the dogs out yeah you can't clean up because they keep popping up all right well got electric pass so I'm very stoked gonna keep working on that um, Fort Loudon should come next week to hook up power it's gonna be overhead from that line shoot straight across uh, and then we'll have power in the shed um, the podcast we're gonna get going again which is no excuse I could I you could do the podcast from anywhere but I've that's just the way I am and I hate that about me but I wanted to have like a little I want everything to be right like I want it to be good I want it to share stories share insight share information like I want it to be a good podcast that's why i'm investing in it and making it worth my while so i'm excited for it uh it's gonna have its own channel we're gonna do the tennessee project's gonna be on its own channel just because it'll get too muddy with the um with the vlogs and stuff and i want to keep the vlogs just us exploring and having fun in tennessee um whereas the podcast will be more stories and experiences and what's going on in tennessee and just the reality of things so um, that'll be very fun. Obviously, we'll keep you all posted. Um, Babs is resting. She is just, she is hurting. The arms are sore. Everything is just sore. The poor girl. Um, she's been through it. So, uh, thank you for all the, uh, thoughts and prayers for her. Um, she's almost there. She's almost to the finish line for the recovery part. So, uh, still has a little a ways to go, but as far as the soreness and all that goes. Looking forward to, um, some extreme weather tomorrow. We'll document that. So, um... That'll all be documented on here. That'll be the next video that y'all will see. But that is it. It's still beautiful out, even though there's cicadas everywhere. It's still beautiful, Tennessee.